Alright, so what is up everybody? Deflame12 here. And if you're not already, make sure to go follow me on Twitter at Deflame12 underscore YT. Thank you. What is going on everybody? Deflame12 here. Back again with another all division squad builder for the NBA. Today we have the second division being the all central division consisting of the Cleveland Cavaliers, Chicago Bulls, Milwaukee Bucks, Detroit Pistons, and Indiana Pacers. And once again, the rule still applies and will apply throughout the series. Must have two players from every team by the division. So, let's go. At starting point guard, we have Cavs all-star point guard Kyrie Irving. Great point guard. Can shoot, assist, pass, just play defense, can do really everything a point guard needs to do plus he has handles too so that's just a bonus starting shooting guard we have Jimmy Butler who actually played quite a bit of small forward for the Bulls this season so uh, Dwayne Wade could play shooting guard another great player an all-NBA player um, all the qualities was drafted for his defense but has great offense too just a great all-around player and then next up we have LeBron James. We all know how great LeBron is. I don't need to spend too much time on him. I personally don't like LeBron too much, but that's just my opinion. I know he's great and everything. Uh, All-NBA, of course. Probably the best player in the NBA. Not this season, but just has the greatest career probably of anyone playing in the NBA right now. Other than James Jones, of course. Which, I, the only reason he didn't make this list is because... I had to put another Pistons player here, but, you know, if it, if it was my opinion, James Jones would be starting. At starting power forward, we have Giannis Antetokounmpo. A lot of people can't pronounce his name. The Greek Freak. Uh, great player, of course. All-NBA. Uh, can play anything, really, except center, and might be able to play that if he puts on a little weight. But he's a great player. Definitely the best player on the Bucks, and... With a little help, I think the Bucks can definitely be a great team. And at starting center, we have Andre Drummond, who really is a, a good player, but can't do much considering he doesn't have a very good supporting cast. Second best player on that team is Reggie Jackson, and the only reason I put him on this lineup is because I needed another Pistons player. But if he had some help, he could definitely be a part of a great team. Our sixth man right here is Paul George, another great player, uh, future Laker. I'm sure Laker fans are excited for that, but that really just sucks for Pacers fans because him and Miles Turner are a great duo. Jeff Teague's also good, so yeah, I'm sure that Pacers fans are disappointed, but Lakers fans are happy though. Then we have Dwayne Wade from the Bulls. Didn't have the season people expected him to or wanted him to but he's still a good player was great in Miami for all those years and uh, so Dwayne Wade was a great player on definitely on the decline now and uh, that's really all I have to say about him next up we have Kevin Love Mr. two points in the finals last year uh, one of the big three with him, Kyrie, and LeBron. He's a good player. Probably the worst of the big three, but he's still good. Then we have Miles Turner from the Indiana Pacers. He was in the same draft as Towns, Porzingis, Russell, people like that. So he's still really young, but he he's a great player as well. Can definitely be one, probably a top five, top ten center in the league one day. Then we have Malcolm Brogdon from the Bucks. If I were to pick the Rookie of the Year, I'd probably give it to him, but that's not who I'm giving it to. I will do a, a, an NBA Award prediction, either the day of or day before the NBA Awards are announced, which I believe is June 26th, but Malcolm Brogdon really surprised everyone. He's a second round pick this year, and he turned out to be a pretty damn good player. Then we have Jabari Parker, also from the Bucks, Another good player, but he ended up, I believe, getting hurt this year. But 
if he can stay healthy, he is a good player. We have Jeff Teague from the Pacers, who I believe was really underrated at the beginning of this year, but showed that he still had it in him. He's still a good player, like he was on the Hawks. And yeah, that's really all I have to say about him. Then finally, we have Reggie Jackson, who really only made this lineup because I needed another Pistons player. But he's not a bad point guard. And get the job done. He might still be able to be the starting point guard on a team if him and Drummond get some help. They need wing players, uh, basically anything except for a center and maybe a point guard. Because people like Kentavious Caldwell Pope aren't going to get the job done. But without further ado, thank you all for watching everybody. Peace out.